Hey gang, Matt from Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's quick video, we're going to show you how to ship a sales order pick ticket. Uh, you're going to ship it from the shipping module. Um, and you can find that obviously by using your uh, quick search from the uh, main menu. Uh, the nice thing is if you don't have the pick ticket number, you have the customer's name, you have the sales order number, you can also search that in this screen and it will find the corresponding pick ticket number uh, that matches to that that information. Uh, obviously, when we click on this, it's going to load in the pick ticket information. Now, generally by default, it's going to have confirmed shipment checked. It's going to be the ship date of today. Uh, for some reason, if you ship this yesterday and you want to change the date, you can change that date if that field is available to you. Um, you can also uh, print invoices. Uh, you can print packing lists from here. Um, you can also fax for some reason. Uh, now it's important to know that even if you choose not to print an invoice from here, uh, but you have this confirmed shipment checked, it does go ahead and create an invoice in the system. It just hasn't been marked as printed yet. So if somebody's out running invoices and they print them in batches, um, it will, uh, get pulled up then to be printed or emailed or however your customer is digesting those invoices. But it's important to note that if you print it from here or email it from here, it's not going to get caught up in those other uh, systems because it would have to be a reprinted invoice at that point. Um, personally, my, my previous company, we had it blocked off because we want people accidentally doing that. Uh, this is where you can obviously set in your carriers. Uh, you can put a tracking number. If there were any additional delivery instructions, uh, that were entered on the sales order, they would be carried over here, but you can obviously edit that and add that. Um, lots of other tabs to go through. Um, it will, by default, if you're not using scan guns, it assumes everything is shipping. Um, if you try to um, undership, it will you know, have some different pop-ups that tell you, hey, you're undershipping, do you wanna return the inventory to stock? And we'll cover that in a different video maybe. Uh, but I just wanted to do a basic, once all that's in there, it's literally just save uh th there's no secrets to it for the base shipping it's pretty simple um now obviously if you're using scan guns there may be some different info but that's it that that's shipping from within p21 pretty simple uh so if you guys have any questions about this or you want to see some more advanced stuff um make sure you put a, a comment down below always like and subscribe and stay tuned uh, atlas is here for your profit 21 needs